Did you know you could store up to 15 model aircrafts in one radio? Hello, this is Leo. Today I'm back here with another training episode. In this episode, I will show you how to add or upgrade a new model profile onto your F12E. It is very similar to any of your Devo radios, but it is not very well documented. So I'm back here with a not so exciting episode unless you really need to use it. So thumbs up if you do. And this is how you do it. You will need the transmitter cable. Wakira is known to make really good radios and it goes back quite a few years. The Devo F12E is no exception. It's a professional radio with 12 channels and it's going to be around for a little while because a lot of the new models will be using 12 channels such as the Voyager 3, X350 Premium, the Scout X4 and the Tele H500. Plug in your USB cable onto your transmitter and then plug it into your computer. And the first thing you'll notice is your computer is going to detect a new device has been added. Let the computer recognize the device. Now that you have established that your computer can connect to the FTLE, turn it on and look for a spot where you would like to put the new models in. For this example, I am going to use model 6, an empty slot. Turn off your transmitter and move on to the next step. Next, go to the iusinc.com website, which is the Wakira USA website, and go to the firmware page to download the software, which is called the Diffuse USB Upgrade Tools, and the model files for your radio, in this case, the Devo F12E. The page might change over time, but you should be able to locate your radio files. Unzip the file and take a look at the README files. The .bin files are the files that you'll be looking at today. They are the model profile parameter files. If you should need to upgrade your firmware, please take a look at our previous episode. For now, move the files to a convenient location where you can find them. And then install the Diffuse USB Upgrade tool. Before you do that, take a look at the uh, history. Uh, there's a log file that gives you a history of all the different versions of the Diffuse software. The latest one has included the Devo F12e. Double click on the software and install it. Once your installation is complete, you will need to double click on the diffuse icon if it hasn't started by itself. And then you will establish a USB connection between your transmitter and your computer by holding down to the EXT button and powering on at the same time. You should get a message that says program update on your LCD. At the same time, a message on the screen to say that the DVO F12E has been detected. Now, the most important step of this entire process is to go to the config tab and locate the open slot that we will upgrade our new model into. So number six was determined as the open slot. It is a good practice to back up all your original models. So select one that is open, select Voyager 3 and click open and upgrade. You may get a warning message that says you are in DFU mode. Which is okay, click yes and continue your upgrade. Once your upgrade is complete, you will see a message below that says upgrade successful. Now you are ready to quit and reboot your transmitter. To verify that you have successfully added your new model is to go to the main menu, model menu, model select and browse for number 6 and you should see your new model. This is one good way to share your models with your friends or to back up. Copies always kept at iusinc.com. So I hope this is useful. Have a good day.
And now a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network. <laughs> Too. Right above me. Spin the uh, camera three hundred and sixty degrees. Gears. One more round. One more round. Yeah, one more round, please. Oh, yeah.
perfect landing. Yes, sir. That's our pilot. FPV all day long. <laughs>